تفرج صورة كده بس. شكرا. شكرا. Actually, we have a transverse ligament jumping on this notch attached to its lips like this. So it is named suprascapular ligament. Transferring this notch into suprascapular foramen. And we have yes. supply for double muscle. Supra in the infra. This is a suprascapular nerve and artery. What is running through the foramen? Yeah. Nerve. That's right. But artery above. After finishing its or their job for supraspinates, how they can shift for the infraspinates? Run here. So in hidden area, this hidden area is named the spinal notch resistance number two. That's right. The last notch. Remember our rules. Bravo. What our rules? Small and large as regards mass of muscle, number of heads, whatever. So we have the small is anterior, the large is posterior, the small is hidden, and the large is covering it. Examples the sensor carpi radialis brevis covered by lungs. You remember? Mm -hmm. Biceps anterior and triceps posterior. Mm -hmm. That's right. Biceps above and triceps below. below. How? I will see now the three tubercles. We have one above the glenoid and one below. And the both give attachment for long heads. What long head here? Biceps. Biceps. And the below? Triceps. Remember? So now I will shift for or come again for the third notch. Actually, we have lateral border. Its dorsal aspect gives muscle attachment for two tears. Tears minor and tears major. So what occupying the upper part? Tears minor. And in spite that it is minor, it takes two thirds and leaving the lower one third for major. That's right. Actually and theoretically, the origin of Tears minor is interrupted by the passage of that artery. Actually, here we have subscapular artery, but it gives side branch here circulating around the scapula. What is circulating? Circumflex. 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 Circumflex is scapular artery. So this imaginary, okay? Notch, el wahmida, bin sami notch for circumflex is scapular artery which runs on the dorsum of the lateral border within the origin of teres minor muscle. That's right. Again, the three notches suprascapular, spinoglenoid, and for circumflex scapular arch. The three tubercles, I finished two of them, supra and the infra. What is the last tubercle here? This point. At the medial end of the lower limb of the crest of the spinoglenoid scapula, receive what muscle? Trapezius, lower fibers of trapezius. That's right. So the upper lip with medial border of acromion, with posterior border of the lateral side of the clavicle, give insertion for the trapezius plus this tubercle located on the lower lip of the crest of the spinal scapula. The remaining here for deltoid muscle. That's right. Now. I will share to four some points as regards the scapula. The commonest bone to be fractured was the clavicle. The rarest bone to be fractured in our body is the okay. scapula. Why? Flat or shape? That one was subcutaneous totally. You remember? And we have point of weakness. That's right? So this makes it to be fractured. That's right? But this one, it is totally hidden in between large number of muscles. Let me take the sandwich. We have a lot of material. What is the shape? That's right. Sandwich. Understand? The hash of it is about bones. I like sandwich. 
That's right. So this is the latest boon to refractions. What you expect about the source of this boon? Is it membranous or cartilaginous? Against your expectation. It is flat like a membrane, that's right? But actually it is cartilaginously source. That's right? This one is cartilaginously ossified. What is the importance of this capilla? Uh, shoulder. Shoulder joints receiving and supporting the weight of the upper limb and transfer the weight of the upper limb to the axial skeleton by direct weight or indirect weight? Indirect. Because the scapula has no direct connection with the axial skeleton. But through what? The coracoclavicular ligament, acromioclavicular ligament, and through the clavicula to the sternoclavicula. That's right.